Uh, my name is Hayden Chisholm. I'm a saxophone player from New Zealand. I've been living in Europe, mainly in Germany, for 26 years. Mainly playing jazz music, but also many other different kinds of music, which is the beautiful thing about the saxophone. You can do pretty much anything with it. Microtonality, for me, um, means everything and nothing. <laughs> that might sound a bit strange, but it's a question of definition. Micro, as in small, tonality, relating to tones, the tones we play, but I would ask, smaller than what? You know? So it's really a question of relativity. What are we talking about here? And generally, now we're talking about small tones or like small divisions of the octave. Um, but this could mean anything. <laughs> so I can't really tell you much, really, about that. Sorry. <laughs> Overtone series or the harmonic series um, is a huge part of my life as a musician and it doesn't just relate strongly to microtonality, it relates to everything in music I would say. Um, it is number which comes alive, one or oneness, the root or the tonic, two, the octave, the doubling, three, the fifth, the trinity, um, and it can be approached from many different levels. And as we get higher up the overtone series, as we ascend the ladder, and the intervals become smaller, we go into a world of what we could term microtonality, in which the intervals become very, very small, but always relating to the one or the tonic. Yeah? Um, for this reason, the prime numbered overtones are extremely interesting notes. So there's a very strong link between the two. Yes. I guess my interest in microtonality um, went hand in hand with my interest in music. My first um, loves, my first favorite records were blues records and jazz records, and uh, inherently in this music there is microtonality. There are notes which are bended and slided and shift, um, which all serve to help us express as humans and as musicians who we are. And as I traveled the world and as I came to Germany to study, I was exposed to all kinds of different types of music which were either um, termed microtonal or just simply microtonal as they were performed or played. And this was, of course, a huge influence on me as a musician and as a saxophonist, someone who was always looking to extend and refine the language of my instrument. I use microtones in improvisation because they're a natural part of how I play and how I listen to sound and how I express myself through sound. Um, over the years I've studied them obviously, um, I know a little bit about um, the very small divisions of the octave, though it's always important to remember that the octave can be divided up into infinite parts. It's up to us to choose how many parts we use, which ones we use and what they mean to us. And for me some of these smaller intervals have a very special meaning. For example, the 11th overtone, which I call the primordial blue note, is the first naturally occurring quarter tone, or almost exactly a quarter tone. It has a very special quality and a color, which I, would, which I would use on special occasions if I want to express something which I cannot really put into words, but they all have very special colors, which we all use in our own um, musical language, sometimes uh, consciously and sometimes by accident. <laughs> Thank you. 
How I would use microtones in compositions would be very similar to how I would use them in improvisation. Again, there's an inextricable link between improvisation and composition, at least in my world, um, when I talk about form, structures in the music, and whether I sit down and have the time to write it down, or whether I have to do that in the moment of playing. There's a strong link between those two. When I compose something, when I have the time to write, of course I have more time to think about maybe some new ways to work with these extra tones. You know? Whereas in the moment of improvisation I have less time to, um, to approach it that way. I could be more formal, I could use rows, I could use um, inversions and other compositional devices that might um, be of interest later on. So it just gives me a little bit more time, but the basic fundamental story of the music and what I want to say is unchanged. It's the same thing, whether I improvise or whether I sit down and write. Thank you.